Hi everybody, this is Brandon from the Center for Blade Arts in Minneapolis, and today I've got another hit and parry drill for you. Very much like the ones before, we're actually going to say the word watch, 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 as we're doing our cut, because we're going to try to train ourselves to pay attention to what our opponent is doing while we're attacking, instead of trying to figure out what our opponent is going to do after we're done with our attack. All right, so again, I'm going to start out in guard. Notice my point is threatening. This isn't a parry position. It's a threat. My first thing is to do an attack. I'm going to go watch, 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 watch. Cut to the head. Now, I'm going to do uh, parry four or parry to belly. I'm going to get my cutting edge going to the inside and I'm going to pull back a little bit. Notice I'm not threatening with the point. My point should be aiming over my opponent's shoulder. So one more time, watch, 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 I hit, turn my cutting edge, and I come into parry position. Now depending upon your distance, it's possible to make this parry a lot faster by leaving your arm extended. So you can go, watch, 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 cut, and you can parry here with your arm fairly extended but relaxed. As long as you've got room to do your next cut, it's a pretty good position to be in. All right, from the side, I go watch, 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 cut. Cutting edge comes to the inside, and I parry. All right, like that. All right, practice that a bunch of times. Go and get some exercise. Skipping ropes is a good way to do it. And think about sword fighting all day and all night. And we'll see you as soon as we can. Take care.